Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding article views part 2 and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Amazon and LinkedIn interviews over the past couple of years, right? Okay, some of you also asked for the SQL schema, right? So this is how the SQL schema looks like. I will copy this and paste it in the description box below, right? If you guys want to check it out. Okay, let's jump right in. We are given a table called views with four different columns, article ID, author ID, viewer ID, and view date. There is no primary key for this table. It may have duplicate rows. Each row of this table indicates that some viewer viewed an article written by some author on some date. Note that equal author ID and viewer ID indicate the same person. Okay. We are asked to write a SQL query to find all the people who viewed more than one article on the same date. The result should be ordered by ID in ascending order. Okay. Let's go through this example, right? So here you have different, you know, viewer, authors, articles, different dates, right? So which all viewers on a particular date viewed more than one article, right? So if you look at viewer ID five, right? So viewer ID five on 1st of August, 2019 viewed two articles, right? One and three. So five should be in the output. If you look at six, right? So six on 2nd of August, 2019 viewed article one and two, right? So six should also be in the output. For seven, there is only one entry. So it will be anyway excluded one again excluded. For four, right? So viewer ID four on 21st of July, 2019, there are two entries, but it is for same article ID, right? So as the question says that there is no primary key, so it is basically a duplicate row, right? So four should not be in the output. So five and six should be in the output. And that is what we have. So to do this, what we can do is from this views table, we can, you know, try to group by the view date first, because for a particular date, we need to find out if there are people who viewed more than one articles, right? So we can group by the view date and the viewer ID and then keep only those people whose count of distinct article IDs is greater than one. So let's start developing this query. So I write from this table called views, right? Let me group by the view date column as well as the viewer ID, right? So what will happen? So for 1st of August 2019 and viewer ID 5, I am going to count the number of distinct article IDs. So I'm only going to keep those values where so having count of distinct article ID is greater than one. Why greater than one? Because it says who viewed more than one article on the same date, right? Also, why I am doing distinct article ID? Because if you don't do distinct, right? So basically four will also be included, right? And this person on a particular day did not see more than one article. It is just duplication of rows, right? So that is why we are doing having count of distinct article ID greater than one, right? So basically filtering based on an aggregate value. And that is why we are using having not where, right? So once we have this, then what we need to do is we need to basically return the viewer ID, right? Viewer ID and alias this as ID, right? So I write ID and the question also says to, you know, uh, order this by ID in ascending order, right? So I also write order by ID, right? Now you might think this looks good, right? But if you think about it, there is a special test case that we are missing here. Suppose again, right? So here for 1st of August, 2019, you have viewer ID five, which viewed two articles, right? One and three. Let's say for 2nd of August, 2019, there is again viewer ID five, which let's say viewed article four and five, right? So what will happen is when you group by the view date and viewer ID, right? So for the first group, it would be 1st of August, 2019, viewer ID five and count of distinct article ID is going to be greater than one, right? In that case, so five will be there. Now for second case on 2nd of August, 2019, since the date is changed and the viewer ID is same, right? And if you are, you know, keeping only those where count of distinct article ID is greater than one, five will again be present. So if you just return the viewer ID, five will come twice. 
so don't get confused that you are grouping by the view date and viewer id so only unique values of viewer id will come right because in the test case i just described it is possible that you can have the same viewer id twice so that is why you need to return distinct viewer ids you don't want to duplicate it right so now it will take care of all those test cases as well right let me go ahead and run this let's see what happens so yeah this is accepted right our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again not a difficult question right all we had to do was from this table we need to group by the view date and viewer id because we need to find out that on a particular date which all viewers viewed more than one article right and that is why we are also doing having count of distinct article id and we need to make sure that we are returning distinct viewer id so that there are no duplicates and there is a case where it can return duplicates even though we are grouping by viewer id right so i hope this video was useful let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video